Well, hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the Obsidian Excalibur ugly pan tip uh, from Crosshair to something like this red icon here. As you can see, it's very great, right? I really uh, I'm happy and I'm eager to share this knowledge with you guys because I tried to find a solution all over the internet and I just found the different 1.k different types of issues and many of them was the feature request which many people wants to change Crosshair to Pentis Simple and I heard this solution is going to help you guys. So without any further ado, let's get started. I'm going to change a little bit settings and I'm using a Windows 10 operating system. If you are using a different one, Windows 11 or Mac, you need to find that setting section by yourselves, okay? I don't have those operating system, that's why I can only show you with Windows 10 and I'm sorry about it, but I think this is going to give you an idea where you can change this, right? Okay, now in the settings section, I'm going to find mouse settings because I need to change something inside mouse settings. Now on the left hand side, there are some kind of different settings, which I really don't want to mess with them. On the right hand side, there's a little related settings section, which is important, additional mouse settings. And I'm going to click on that one. Now it's going to open up a mouse properties, which is a legacy properties panel, I guess. Now in on here, there's a tab called pointers. Now, when I click on this one, it's going to open a different customization where I can change different icons inside my Windows operating system inside Windows 10. Now, the one I really wanted to change is you can see here, which is called Precision Select. Now, on the right hand side, I have already changed it to red dot. That's why uh, it's already selected inside my Obsidian uh, Excalibur plugin where you can browse and you can change whatever cursor you want. You can do it by yourselves. And I'm going to show you how to change, uh, how to create your own cursor and also how to download an animated cursors. Now I'm going to click animated one to show you what it looks like. And right now, as you can see, my cursor is animated, which is crazy, which is crazy. So let me show you first how to create your own cursor, then how to find animated ones, okay? Now, go to this site, cursor.cc. Now, in this panel, I'm just going to create my cursor. But before that, I need to choose a color in here. It's uh, going to be green, let's say. I really like green colors. And I'm going to just put a dot, simple dot in here. And then I need to choose on the bottom right hand side, there's a link called checkbox. There's a checkbox. Just check this one. Now I can specify hotspot point. Now it's going to be in the middle. Now, whenever you are ready, just download the cursor and that's it. And that's it. Now my cursor is ready. What I can do, I can find my cursor folder again. Let me try to find it. And let's go to additional mouse options again and pointers and browse. And now inside browse panel, I'm just going to drag this one to here and it's going to ask me an administrator permissions. I'm going to click OK. Now my cursor is here. I'm going to select this one and apply. Now it's green. My pointer is green. Right now inside Obsidian, it's still animated red dot. Why? Because I need to close it down, open it. Sometimes it works and sometimes you just need to restart Obsidian. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I'm uh, making a tutorial and uh, I did this, uh, you know, tutorial making video videos several times. I tried to uh, just uh, talk very uh, clear to show you these uh, settings and how to do it. Now, if you go to rw-designer.com, 
you're clever people, you're going to <laughs> see this one. And this link, specifically this link, you're going to find .busy animation cursor. It's the .ani animated cursor file where you can also download this one. It's going to uh, create a, a, any file in here. It's a cursor file which is not animated and this one is any file. Now you can also drag and drop again, additional mouse options pointers, browse in here, just the same steps again, just drag and drop in here and that's it, replace the file destination. Right now I want to skip the file because I already have a .bz animated file. Now whenever I choose this one, open, open, apply and oh, I have already changed. Why during this uh, tutorial making section, I just uh, forget to change. You need to change the position select. That's why my else, my mouse is uh, animated. Let's use default, apply. Now, yeah. there we go. There we go. There we go. Now, inside my Obsidian, it's animated cursor. And thank you guys. If it really helped you, please give a like, subscribe, and make a great comment. You know, it's going to help me to feel energized and share more information whenever I get new ones. So, bye-bye, good and a great day.